Alright guys, welcome to another art tutorial and in this video I want to teach you guys how to install a package. Now what a package is, is it's actually all this crap. If you go to your packages tab, you can see that you have a huge list of these things called packages. So what the F is a package? What it is, is it's basically a bunch of code that someone wrote for you and what you can do is you can download and install it on your computer and then once you have it installed you can use all those functions. So for example, let me go ahead and show you guys an example right now. So say that what we wanted to do was we want to take all the information on a table from a website and we wanted to read it or convert it into a data frame so we could use it in our program. Well actually there's a function for that. So if you make an object called items, what you could do is you could use a function called read HTML table and the f using my uh, semicolons like I'm programming uh, PHP or something. But anyways, when you use this function, it takes two pieces of information. The first piece of information is where is that URL? Well, it's right here. So you give it the URL of the website where the table is out. Of course, it needs that. And the second piece of information that you should always use is which. Now, what this keyword means is whenever there are multiple tables on a web page, then it could say, for example, I put which equals one, it means the first table. So if there are three other tables, it says don't get the second one, don't get the third one, get the first one. So that's what that keyword means. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and, I don't know, maybe we won't only want to print out the head of it. So print out the head of it, do do do, gonna run this, wait a minute. Okay, it says it's not working, but I know that this is a function in R. So let's read this one more time. Okay, could not find the function R read HTML table. And the reason that it can't find this is because we don't have that package installed. This function, the read HTML table, is indeed a function, but it is in this XML package. So what we need to do is we need to install this particular package. So if you click install, what you can do, and I already have this installed on my computer, but this is how you would install it. You start typing the name of the package and you can just use autofill or you can type the whole name if you want. But you pretty much type the name of the package that you want and then you click install. And as you can see, it says installing, la la la, it does its thing package XML successfully unpacked and checked. Again, it might be a little different for you since I already installed it, but that is all you have to do. It is now installed on your computer, so any functions that are inside that package, you can use. Now, before you use this package, you need to do one thing. What you need to do is you say, hey R, we're gonna require you to load in a package, XML. And what this line is essentially going to do, it says, okay, we loaded this package, now we can use the functions. So now, whenever you run this, it loads it right here, and now that we have that function available, check it out. All this data, or this data that was from the website, we automatically stole, or, well, we didn't really steal it, we got it, and we read it into R, pretty freaking awesome. So anyways, I wanted to make a tutorial on how to install and download packages. Turns out it's incredibly easy, but now you guys also now know how to read HTML tables from a website. So a little bonus for you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, well, I'll see you next time.